Hello everyone, how's it going? Macman here, and today we are going to be going over a new web application called Wonderkit. Now, if you guys are familiar with the app called Wonderlist, this is the same makers, and this is their new application that they will be releasing soon. It's currently in beta testing, so it does have some minor defects. But without further ado, let's head straight into the review. So here is your main Wonderkit page. Now what this app allows you to do is add workspaces to help get your work done. In other words, I like to call it Wonderlist on steroids. On the left hand side we can find our workspaces. Let's say I have a large project that I need to complete, such as building a boat. I simply create a new workspace, name it, and then we can add some other features. We can also make a public workspace if we want to add other people into the project. I'm just going to select close. In the middle we have what I like to call our news feed. This displays anything that relates to any of your workspaces. On the right hand side we can also view things like our followers, who we're following, and some recommendations. Back on the main page we have our top menu bar. On the top left we can find our settings, here we can adjust things such as the background of your page. We can have things like shortcuts which can be very useful. I'll show you that later on. We can also find things like the term of use, privacy policy, and logout. Moving on to the right of that we can find our search bar, here we can search for anything in Wonderkit. To the right we can invite friends. A nice thing about this is we can connect with Facebook or Twitter, or we can also use email. If you guys would like an invite, be sure to comment on the video, and I'll try to get you guys one as soon as possible. Beside that, we can also view important things or everything. Now, when clicking on a workspace, we can view its dedicated page. On the left-hand side, we can find the profile as well as the people in the group. We can also change some settings, as well as the design background. Below that we can find our dashboard, displaying anything related to the group. Below that we can find tasks, these are things that we'd like to complete. For example, I have a Google Hangout planned on February the 3rd. If we want to add a task, we can simply select Option T on the keyboard and it will bring us a nice window. This is some of the shortcuts that I was talking about earlier. We can also just click here to add a task, and we can also add dates, as well as people and tags. Below tasks, we can find notes. We can use this window if we want to note something down that's important, or just to keep in mind. On the bottom left, we can find a few buttons. The check mark will show you what you have to do. If you don't have anything, it will simply be blank. In the middle, we can create new things such as tasks or notes, as well as a workspace. And on the right hand side, we can find our notifications. Here we will show you if someone accepts your invite or comments on one of your workspaces. Overall, I've really enjoyed using WonderKit over the past few days. It's a great way to complete tasks and get things done. If you guys are interested in this sort of thing, Please be sure once again to let me know in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all next time.